Hello everyone, welcome back in our T24 Classic Navigation and Environment session. In this chapter number 4, we will talk about how to input and how to modify records in details. So, under this chapter, we will see how to input modify records or data using input functions, how to move from or between different fields and where we can means uh, if we have multi-value or sub-value set what we will do don't worry we will talk uh, about multi-value and sub-value in details in some other section but as of now you should know only we have some concept called multi-value and some concept called sub-value in t24 and also we will see how to get data from different tables so means uh, uh, while inputting data, if you find, uh, if you need to do lookup in some different table, we'll talk about that and how to get access, help, help access within application. So we are, we will all discuss. Don't worry. We'll, I'm just going to start my T24. So I'm opening customer application. So to open customer, as of now, you must be knowing we can use abbreviation like CU. Sorry for the pause. I got some technical issue. So I hope you understand how we can do lookup with some different table and uh, how we can uh, take the help. So if I will continue now, control F, control F. So you can see this, some uh, input is missing here because I have added relation code. So I need to mention that customer name at 11.1. .1. So I can go back using control B and I need to find customer. So I, it will be better if I clean the above field. So I will go back and clear. So it's not mandatory now. sector so we can have some sector we can also select some sector using this sign Same way we need to do lookup. So I guess customer, uh, as customer belongs to uh, broker, so I will type five here and I will copy broker and control V, enter. So you can see we got customer here. Account officer is another mandatory field. So I will type one here. As I know, one will be implementation. I belongs to implementation, so I pressed one here. It's not mandatory. Industry is mandatory. So you can see here. So to find industry record, we'll go back again. And I will find uh, first. So customer belongs to uh, Ford Center Baco. So I'm just going to type 8 here. And enter. And I will copy. Control V, enter. So customer is from, I guess I copied tobacco, but that's fine. We'll see target as well. Here, target is another mandatory field. If I'm pressing enter, it doesn't go and instead is skipping error. So it's a, another mandatory field here. So I will type, I can look up here again. I will type L to list 
and customize private client i will press one and i will copy control v enter so actually i'm creating customer record so in bank generally bank if you will go to bank to open your record open your to sign any contract a contract can be your account your personal loan any details so bank will give you one form where you are supposed to provide all information your name your age date of birth address all details so once you will fill the form someone from bank will fill all these information on your behalf he will have access of t24 application he will input all these details so this is why we were doing here so customer nationality it's a one of the important field so i can put it usa here sorry i know this otherwise i can do lookup customer status we can, can have different type of a status of the customer i will show you active customer or if it is prospect or it's different so i'm just uh, i'm just taking it one for now so control c and after that control v so i will keep entering here residence so customer residence in the same country contract date it's not important it's not mandatory so i will keep uh, pressing enter like this so it's like birth incorporation date when customer has uh, connected to the bank customer liabilities language i can post to here language and this is must be mandatory field that's why we have error like input missing so we have different languages so i want to select uh, uh, german i don't know if we have german here so i can use this sign and general code we have three so i will select line number three here and copy and control v enter so i got german so if i will keep continuing here control f control f control f control f control f i don't think we have another uh, form required information nothing is mandatory now so i'm just going to commit this record control v enter so transaction completed you can see here and control u enter but i forget what was the customer number do you remember don't worry we can find it it's very easy so i will type customer as application abbreviation i'm using exception these are the customer that that was created so today's date is we can go by date today so we got 14th january one data here it's a record number four i can type four here and i will go to record number four control v enter so this is what this is what we have created so you can see all this information some of the information that we haven't provided but those information are already there so like this so some of the default those are being populated here so you can see customer is in i and au status input unauthorized means we need some another id to authorize this record but i'm not going to authorize this i just my intention was to create new record and uh, you i want you to see how we are moving from one field to another field using control f and going back through control b and how we are accessing help and how we are using exclamatory sign to for look up another table so i i hope you understand all these things so we'll talk about modification now how we can modify and these are all uh fails but what if we have some multi value like this this is multi value means we can add 182.1 and we can add 182.2 for example if we have two inputer so we can add another inputer so i will take some more example control b enter here for example 
we have 8.1 so we can have we have only 23 means we can have only one value here but address we can have uh, customer may have different name also long name address if suppose uh, 5.1 so suppose if address is in three or four lines it's not enough so we can add 5.2 as well 5.3 as well are you getting so 5.1 5.2 point, point 5.3 we can add uh, another row uh, if uh, we have some wrong uh, if we have long name address then we can add an, uh, another row also so we have some option here that's called multi-value don't worry we will talk these things in details similarly we we must have some sub value i will show you if we have here but i don't think we have any here i will find some different table to show you how so in multi-value you will find one dot here for example 3.1 but if you have sub value then we will have 3.1.1 3.1.2 or 3.2.1 3.2.2 so those will be sub values we'll talk all these things later in some different session but as of now i just want you to know how we can add 5.2 we have we have added on uh, we have given data on only 5.1 but if i need to add something in 5.2 so how we can modify we will show you i will show you uh, i will modify one customer uh, user record and I will show you so so I'm opening one existing record this is so you can so you can see here we have different company this user that uh, I have created for my t24 login he can access company code uh, default company code com another company he has access of one two three four five six so what if I don't want him to access uh, this branch two? so what I need to do I will I will show you first I will go to line number 5.6 so how can I go directly to 5.6 uh, so we can type here line number 5.6 and enter so you can see we are in data field here so in case if i don't want this customer to access uh, branch one so i will go back control b enter here and i will type minus sign like this and enter so you can see that records got deleted so this is how we can delete what if i want to add this again so if i have to add I need to type this question uh, uh, greater than sign and enter so it will add greater than sign will add another row above that row means that where I have kept so it will for example control F enter if I will do then it will add another row like this but if I don't want this line I can delete it control I can delete this as well like this what if I want to add one line below 5.1 so I will go there control B control B you can go directly 5.1 or you need to sign this and you need to use less than sign and enter so it will add another ever but if I have to control F enter if I have to add another row below or ever we can use these two sign I hope you understand like this if I want to delete I can use this So I hope you understand for example if I have to I'm just going to repeat it again for example if I have to if I have to update uh, extend new field 
uh, below this line then I will do like this and I can add here company we don't have this form so I can delete this but if I have to add below this 5.1 I can use this sign to add add below so I'm that a bit confused might be I'm confusing you as well so so just to summarize again for example if I have to I'm at line number four just so. and I need to add uh, one company code below this line so I will type this less than sign here and enter so you can see it's been added new row here but if I have to add uh, one line uh, above department code so I will have to go here and I will type greater than sign so you can see we have added above and in last case we have added below so this is how we need to deal with multi-value set if you want to add anything in between you can do the same thing you need to put the, your cursor there and you can add and below of that line now we will talk about sub value you understand uh, I guess you understand what is multi value here now we'll talk about sub value so I will try to find some sub value field if you see here under 16.1.1 uh, so it's a sub value here here we customer can have different uh, accounts so I will add one account here uh, and if I have to add another row above this company uh, above 17.1 then I need to use uh, open bracket like this enter so you can see we have we got option to add another row here so I will write my another account here but what if I want something below this 15.1 so I will have to go to, uh, go there first I will go control B control B enter and to below I need to type uh, open open bracket and enter so you can see we have added here so I hope you understand how to add data and if you want to delete you need to use a minus sign like this like this so I, I hope you understand how to uh, deal with multi value or sub value and how to extend this value don't worry we'll talk multi value and sub value in details in another section I hope I have covered all my points mentioned in there so we have control F control B enter we can multi value if we can delete so I hope we have covered everything help and exclamation sign so I hope you like this video we will meet you again we will meet again in another video thank you thank you